Hey guys, welcome back to the House of Wrinkles. Today we're going to talk about one of the number one questions everyone has is what do we feed our dogs and is grain bad for your dogs? So stay tuned. So like I said, today we're going to discuss what to feed your babies and is grain free really a good thing or not. Uh, recently, I guess back in February, no, April, April of 2019, the FDA released a study that they believe maybe uh, grain free foods may be linked to DCM, which is dilated cardiomyopathy. And this is a heart disease that can occur in uh, cats and dogs. And the symptoms are not, just depends on the dog and the breed, but it could be fainting, weakness, pale gums, um, change in the heart rate. A couple of the grain-free foods that we love and we use in our house are at the top of that list. So it really concerned me. And I did a little bit of research and I'm not an expert by any means, but I just wanted to share just a few things that I learned. Maybe you're going through the same thing. Maybe your dog has allergies and you've been using grain-free, or maybe you just heard grain was bad, so you decided to go with a grain-free diet. Um, but either way, this is very disturbing. So I called um, the local pet store where I purchased the grain-free food for our pups, and the way they explained it to me, and this is not, I'm not telling you this is correct, this is just the information that I received. I also talked to my vet, and um, he did not have a lot, a ton of information on it, but he did say that grain is not bad for your dogs. And um, basically, what I'm here to tell you that I've learned is grain necessarily is not bad for your dogs. The problem is, if your dog has allergies, like a lot of English Bulldogs and other breeds do have allergies. Um, you cannot find a dog food that has grain that has only one protein. If you found one and you know about it, please comment because I would love to know. But most of the time, if a dog has allergies, they are allergic to some kind of protein and you wanna eliminate that protein out of their diet. And the only way to do that is to go grain free, pretty much. So basically, the grain has nutrients that keeps the heart healthy. And if your dog has um, heart problems, then not giving it a food that has grain in it could be bad. So it's a catch-22, you never know what to do. And we're, we're still experimenting and trying new dog foods all the time, trying to decide what's best for our dogs. Of course, we want to feed them what's the most healthy. And so basically, what we've done is um, we've stuck with the grain-free because it only we've narrowed it down to one protein. And right now, we're feeding our dogs uh, bison and um, it's worked out great. I think that's like in the buffalo family or something, but um, we've been doing this for, I guess, I don't know, maybe a year or so, and it's worked out great for us. But the problem is it doesn't have the grain, which is good for their heart. So what I found out is you can supplement and give your dogs uh, chicken hearts. You can buy those. Um, at your local pet store or whatever. Um, I don't think all of the pet stores carry them, so you just kind of have to check around. Um, but the chicken hearts, the way that I understand, they the protein in chicken hearts goes straight to their heart, and it doesn't go through their digestive system and all that, so the, the, the nutrients actually goes to their heart and gives them what they need to keep their heart healthy. Basically, through all that rambling, what I'm trying to say is, if your dog has allergies, you probably want to go with a grain-free dog food um, just because 
it's hard to find a good quality dog food that only has one protein. And if your dog doesn't have allergies and maybe it has heart problems, you don't want to go with a grain free dog food. It would probably be in your best interest to use a dog food that does have grain. Um, and if your dog doesn't have heart problems, but it runs in their family, or um, you know of uh, another dog in, the, in that litter that is having heart problems, I would say use a dog food that has grain or supplement with the chicken hearts like I had discussed. Here are a list of the dogs that were affected um, in the study with uh, DCM. At the top of the list with 95 cases was the Golden Retriever, 62 cases for mixed breeds, 47 cases for Labrador Retriever, then it goes down to 25 cases for the Great Dane, 23 for the Pit Bull, 19 for the German Shepherd, 15 for the Doberman Pincher, 13 for the Australian Shepherd, uh, 11 for the Boxer, 8 for the Mastiff, 7 for the German Short Haired Pointer, 7 for the Shetland Sheepdog, 7 for the Weimariner, 6 for the American Bulldog, 6 for the American Cocker Spaniel, 5 for the Bulldog, and 5 for the Shih Tzu. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that something I said helps. Um, good luck with choosing the right food for your dog. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit the like button if something in this video was helpful to you. And we'll see you next time.